Hey everyone, Craig here, Flying Wheels. Um, so a lot of people have been asking me about Jeep Wranglers and plows. How do they plow? I have a 2014 Jeep Wrangler Sahara with a seven and a half foot uh, Fisher Homesteader plow. You can see it right here. It's like a plexi, plasticky plow, metal cutting edge, <clears throat> hydraulic push down, so it does push it down, uh, gives it some weight. It also has the rubber bands. I don't know what the heck you call them. I have replaced them. But it has the rubber bands to keep, uh, when you hit something, it bounces back. Uh, plows pretty damn well, actually, for a light-duty plow truck. You'll see here is my shop over here. 30-plus cars are there. Uh, I plow it every storm, whether it's 4 inches or 10 inches. If it's 10 inches, I usually plow it twice. Uh, but I'm going to plow it today and show you guys how well a Jeep Wrangler can plow uh, some heavy snow. It snowed last night. Now it's Sunday at like 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so all this snow has had time to melt. It's like real thick, heavy snow, good for making snowballs. Uh, I'm going to push it today and show you guys how well a Jeep Wrangler with a Fisher Homesteader plow can push snow. six or so inches of snow, heavy, thick snow, all across this entire parking lot. I uh, pushed it pretty easily, I was in four-wheel high the whole time. I have the fish stick controller, so it's easy, I just put a drive reverse with the fish stick in my hand and push all the snow. Here's the hard part. Now I compressed an entire parking lot's worth of snow all to right here. Super heavy, wicked thick snow now. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have an easy snow bank to just push it in, so now I have to take all this snow and push it straight back. I have a truck in my way, but push it straight back. That's where it gets difficult. Uh, it's a light Jeep, it has a decent amount of power, pushes well, the tires grab well, but that's some real heavy snow. Let's see how it does. <laughs> So, so far you'll see it's pushing it. It got stuck a little bit over there by the, by the Chrysler Aspen. As I'm pushing the snow, it kind of pushes it and drifts over to the side because the snow's probably heavier than the Jeep is. But it's pushing it right up the hill. Uh, this is an ice chunk behind it. It's breaking the ice chunk and pushing the snow right up. Let's keep going. Hey, so lapsed, lapsed time was about 20 minutes. Uh, I did my whole parking lot, pushed all this snow over, made a pretty decent sized pile that will definitely freeze tonight and turn to ice. Didn't get stuck. I usually get stuck at least once um, if it's real heavy snow. If it's a solid, good snowstorm, I have to plow it twice or I am definitely getting stuck. And it's a pain in the butt to plow out of, pull out of, shovel out of, whatever. Whatever it is, there's a lot of swear words. So you'll see here, I plowed the whole parking lot. Didn't have to move any cars. When I have to move the cars, it takes a lot longer. But it's Sunday, no one's here. It's supposed to be in the 60s this week, so hopefully a lot of the snow melts. So at least they got enough so customers could pull in. But you'll see, six cylinder Jeep Wrangler, plastic homesteader plow, a metal plow might do better, but it's still a metal cutting edge. Push the snow pretty decently. Uh, you would have noticed also on like the real heavy storms, like the real heavy pushes, it did track me where the snow wanted it to go, so I had to kind of counter steer and fight it a little bit. But for the most part, it does the job pretty damn well. It does take a little bit longer than like obviously a F-150 or a three-quarter ton truck would do with, a, with an eight-foot plow. But for an inexpensive plow that you can even buy used on Craigslist for $1,500 and hook it up to your Wrangler, I would say it's well worth it. 
Hey again, so it's nighttime. I just finished moving all my cars around, plowing everything. When I have to move everything, it takes a heck of a lot longer. But what you saw was the easy stuff. I don't have to move any cars. The Jeep did a great job. I just want to say thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks for the support. You guys have been leaving your comments. You've been asking questions. You've been liking my videos and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Anything you guys want to see, let me know. I'd be happy to show you how the businesses run, what kind of stuff do I like, what kind of stuff do you like. I'll look for it all. I'll go shopping. Whatever you want, post it comments down below. Let me know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd be happy to make a video of whatever you guys want to see. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.